Hi, and welcome to Christine's Gaming Headquarters. Today we're reviewing My Time at Sandrock. Keep in mind, I have only played the early Axif game, but it gives a good impression of the game and what to expect. This is my opinion on what are good things and bad things about the game. My Time at Sandrock is a life simulation game, where you manage a small workshop and build things for the people in town. As your workshop grows, and the town gets bigger, you will get more machines, missions, unlike things like pots for farming, animals for things like fur, and mounts to get around town faster. Getting the things you need to make orders for the people in town is an adventure in itself, as you need to go ruin diving, mine deep into old buildings and caves, and fight monsters and other mobs outside of town. The town of Sandrock has a wonderful atmosphere. You're in this desert town with a strong but cute western theme. The world is large and they have clever ways to make sure you're gradually exploring it and don't end up in a high level zone. I do wish, however, there was a bit more diversity. It had lost a lot of sand and empty spaces, but still is a cute world to explore. The people of Sandrock are interesting and you want to learn about their story and get to know them. So you balance your day doing work orders, big and small projects, getting the mats you need and having fun with your friends. And there are many things for you to do. You have dance off, hand riding, get mill running, and even cook-offs. Or simply enjoy a good meal with a good friend. Character creation is simple but cute. The colors are lovely. As the game progress, you will have many cute outfits to choose from. However, compared to some NPCs, my character looks a bit basic. The fighting system is very elementary. You just spam your hit button and move when the mob does a big move. So you can be a bit repetitive when you do runs that require stuff for you to get to ruins. But it's not a fighting game, even if some battles are required. I do enjoy all the little details they have in the game. Like how you read letters with your mom and you can choose between different answers. Fixing a house and making it personal and even get some pets if you play your cards right. For me, this is the kind of game I play when I had a long day and I just want to relax and have fun. It's easy but interesting and has a lot of diversity. And I can choose if I want to do quests or just my own thing. So as far as scoring the game, I give it a 7 out of 10, which is quite solid. So thanks for watching and please share, like and subscribe if you like the video.